Ever wondered why two rivers that start pretty close together can end up in entirely different oceans? It's all about the lay of the land. Imagine Earth as a giant, slightly squished ball with huge wrinkles and bumps. Those are mountains, valleys and plateaus. Water being lazy always takes the path of least resistance, flowing downhill. The highest ridges act like massive dividers, called watersheds or drainage divides. If a raindrop lands on one side, it might end up in the Atlantic, but drop it just a few feet over, and it's headed for the Pacific. Take North America. The Rocky Mountains form a huge divide. Rivers west of this backbone, like the Columbia, race toward the Pacific. To the east, the Missouri and Mississippi meander their way to the Gulf of Mexico. In some places, a single spot can send water to three different seas. These divides aren't just random lines, they're shaped by millions of years of shifting earth, volcanic activity and erosion. So next time you see a river, remember, its destination isn't random. It's written in the hills, valleys and secret slopes beneath your feet, all thanks to the ever-shifting ancient architecture of our planet.